I want to talk a little bit about Pakistani knives and I've got three inexpensive examples here uh, to show you. The first one is a knife I did a video on a while back. It's a nice knife, full tang, heavy knife. The video I did a while back was on dyeing the handle. This handle comes a bleached white and I dyed it with leather dye, finished it with a clear coat. It's a nice knife, almost fits my hand. I am having trouble getting an edge on this knife and we'll talk about that later. Came with a decent sheath. It was originally brown. And before, I, before I dyed it black, I sandpapered off the heavily embossed logo of the importer, dyed it black. So I can't tell you who made it, but if you do a search on the internet or on Amazon for Pakistan knives, this one's going to pop up. It's a nice looking, nice looking deal there. Second knife is a timber rattler. Let's see if we can, I think you can see that there on the screen. This came in this color. It's a nice bone handled knife. I think I might have put a clear coat on it at some point. Full tang knife. This sharpened up really well with a stone. Let's we'll see if we can go through this leather. Oh yeah. I don't know how long it'll keep that edge, but right now it's pretty sharp. Now the downside to this knife is the sheath that came with it fell apart. It was pretty cheap so I had to make a replacement. So using some scrap leather I made this in kind of a western um, gun holster style to fold over so it sits high on a belt. Let's see if I can get this in here. Instead of a snap I used the brass button on here. I think this will look pretty good on a cartridge belt um, or a pants belt. Third knife is um, an interesting knife. I found this a couple weeks ago on Etsy. Brand is Whitetail. And it says Glover or Glover on it. Now this one is not marked Pakistan, but I did share a photo of this knife online. And someone posted a photo of an identical knife they bought, I guess about 25 years ago. Different brand, but that particular knife, the owner said, was marked Pakistan came with a nice sheath. This one did not come with a sheath, so I ended up making one in sort of that western holster style fold over so it sits high on the on the on the belt. Now, I had been looking around for a while for a knife, uh, a particular knife. Now let me pause here. Let me introduce this one. This is a Dexter Russell Green River knife. These have been around a long time. Um, you can get them on Amazon. Dexter Russell Green River knife for about $25. It's carbon steel. It's very sharp. Uh, holds an edge pretty well. Uh, this is a period knife, 19th century. Uh, my understanding is, is that barrels of Dexter Russell or barrels of Green River knives, not necessarily Dexter Russell, but Green River knives were shipped west. And when you watch old westerns, uh, western TV shows like Gunsmoke, you'll see a lot of people carrying similar knives. Um, Dexter Russell also makes a hunting knife that you'll see uh, uh, Gus carry in Lonesome Dove, and it's about $25 also. The problem with this knife is even if it is period and even if it is sharp it just says steak knife to me so I use it for for my leather work this knife says 1950s TV Western to me maybe it says something else to you but uh, looks like it's got real stag if not it's a good imitation and you watch uh, 50s uh, Westerns both movies and television and you'll see a lot of uh, guns with imitation stag grips on them so it just and and the other thing fits my hand pretty well now this one did not sharpen with a stone at all so what I used was this tool got it off of Amazon for 10 bucks sharp all and it's a multi-tool but I was only concerned with sharpening blades and it has two here, I don't know if you can see numbered one and two. This is for your heavy sharpening. Your coarse sharpening has an arrow. You draw the knife through. 
for that, and then this one is supposed to be for more finish sharpening. This had some rough edges on it, on the blade, so it took a couple of hundred passes through that, uh, through that tool. But, let's see, maybe not as sharp as the other ones, but it's getting there. So that's all I've got here on these. Uh, if you've got any uh, questions, if you've got anything to add, any uh, constructive comments, please post them down in, in the bottom underneath the video and stay safe.